Hi Blockchain Visionaries, I'm George Levy. In this week's video, I'm actually going to get to talk to Mike Winston, the chairman of Jet Token. Mike, it's awesome to see you. Good to see you, George. The last time that we spoke, we were actually at Coin Agenda. I had the opportunity to speak to you at the time you were presenting your vision in the private jet space. Um, a lot of usage in blockchain technology, and you even won an award for it. Tell me what's happened since then. Well, we've hired a CEO with 30 years experience in aviation, much of it in private aviation. Uh, we maintain our partnerships with Honda Jet and Gamma Aviation. Uh, we're delighted to be taking delivery of four Honda Jets in Vegas later this year. Uh, we have got an app in the iOS store. Soon we'll have an app for both Android and iOS, a couple of months. Uh, and in addition, um, well, we're in this office, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the, kill, the interesting thing about it all is that when we spoke, and actually acknowledging you're a certified blockchain professional, you're an expert in the space, but what I love about what you're doing is that you're really taking blockchain technology and applying it to a real use case. So sometimes people think of blockchain and they think, well, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors. There's a lot of uh, unnecessary just buzz around crypto. Everybody wants to get rich. You're literally using blockchain technology as applied to private jets. That's correct. Uh, you know, we're trying to get a fair, more inclusive uh, result in private aviation thanks to the blockchain based upon lessons learned from building cryptocurrencies in their communities. Uh, we think that if we go slowly and we go in conformance with regulation, uh, we're going to get a durable uh, and useful result. Uh, you know, from having gone to some trade shows in private aviation, I can tell you that when you say the word blockchain, the reaction is first Bitcoin and then a little bit of confusion and then kind of like, what? <laughs> um, and uh, and I, I suppose that's fair because in aviation, it's all about checklists and safety. And so new things are often regarded with suspicion uh, and an eye towards safety. So uh, we've uh, gone very carefully and, and made some, some pretty significant progress. I think I hope you'll agree. Well, well, the things that, that I find interesting, first off, it's really cool that you're involved in private jets because the answer is when I think private jets, I think about rock stars, I think about politicians, I think just being able to fly in a private jet when I look up at the sky, it's something that I really would want to do. Um, tell me how Jet Token actually makes that available to someone I'm being, and why would I want to use Jet Token? Okay, so three things. First, uh, most people don't know how to charter a private plane and you know why would they uh, and we make a pretty complex process really simple through the mechanism of our app just go to the app store and download it look book and fly uh, there is no Expedia for private jets so we're something similar to that uh, the booking systems between private jets and commercial jets are very different uh, private aviation is way behind commercial aviation uh, and so we're pleased to be a part of bringing it into the future um, the second thing is if you're flying a team of people, that's probably the most practical use case for private aviation because instead of having hotels and per diem and everybody kind of beating themselves up with travel and you're going to, you know, three different meetings in three different cities in the same week and you get home on the weekend and you're exhausted, you could do it in an aircraft, a private aircraft, like in a day or a day and a half uh, and, you know, kind of get on with the week for less money in some cases. And so that's why there's a lot of statistics behind, you know, it's a $200 billion industry, just charter a seven and a half billion uh, almost every company in the S&P 500 has a private plane. So in as much as there are rock stars and athletes flying around on these things, and it's very glamorous, um, a significant fraction of the time, it's better than half the time, it's not. And it's just corporate business. Excellent. So my question would be, for someone that actually wants to use Jet Token, how can they actually use Jet Token and actually learn more about you? Yeah, uh, download the app and look, book, and fly. That's the first way. Uh, and that's in the iOS store, and again, later in the Android store, in a few months' time, as I mentioned. 1-800-602-5678. Uh, we'll be glad to take your call. Uh, or www.jettoken.com. Uh, you can email me at mike at jettoken.com or to hit the whole team to contact at jettoken.com. And, and George, I want to touch on one more thing, which is that it's not just about charter. It's also about membership. So when I answered your question, I said, oh, you know, we work with the charter. But sometimes it's membership related. Uh, and I think uh, taking care of your members is also a very important thing. So let me ask you a question because I don't want to actually stop here. You opened up a really interesting angle. Yeah. Why would anybody want to actually become a murmur? Because the thing is, let's start from the premise that I don't know how to book a private plane. So mm -hmm. let's say I know how to do it now if I use the Jet Token app, but there's this membership option. How could I benefit from membership? So part of the democratization of private aviation that began with the light jet, this is a $5 million private jet, not a $50 million private jet, means you can do things on the cost curve that are more practical for a midsize or even a smaller business in some cases. Um, so uh, if you are going to 
begin to explore private aviation as a business tool or in your personal life or whatever, first you charter. If you're flying less than 25 hours in a year, you charter and get a feel for it. Uh, if you're flying more than that, then you go ahead and you buy 25 hours and a membership card, kind of like what we offer for the Honda, and we'll sell you all the way up to 100 hours if you want. Um, but once you get beyond that, then it, probably it's time to explore a fractional program. Really, even at 75 hours, you can begin to explore a fractional program. Um, and then and this is all about getting the per hour cost down relative to what you're flying. And then finally, if you're going to do 200 hours, you want to go ahead and buy a plane. So you can think of a charter, 25-hour break point, about 7,500 hour break point for a uh, fraction and then 200 hour break point for, uh, for buying an aircraft. It's kind of like rent a car, lease a car, buy a car. Excellent. So, Mike, thank you so very much for sharing that. I, I wish all the very best to Jet Token. The first time I saw you, you were presenting your vision. Now it's live. I wish you the very best as you move forward. Thank you. George, thanks very much. We appreciate it. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.